everyone, it's Lil D from LilDevet.com and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how you can make a four pocket folder with an included pen loop using a standard office file folder like this one. This technique will work for both ring bound and traveler's notebooks ranging in sizes from pocket to A6 to personal all the way up to the standard Midori size. So if you'd like to learn more, please keep watching. To begin, let's talk about the supplies you're gonna need. So in this example, this is an A6 folder, but in this video, we're gonna make a folder for a standard Midori size. This measures four and a quarter inches by eight and a quarter inches. So we're gonna need a cutting board or a pair of scissors a cheap set of office file folders. I got mine from the Target Dollar Spot. They come as a three pack and what I really like about them is that they come in a lot of fun colors and designs. You're gonna need a ruler. You're gonna need a stick on pen loop. My favorites are the Mambi two packs because these are much wider and they can accommodate multi pens as well as thick fountain pens. A hole punch, a bone folder or paper creaser. And if you're creating a folder for a ring bound planner, you're gonna need double-sided tape. So I have my Scotch permanent tape runner. Let's get started. Step one, you're gonna take your manila folder, your ruler and a pencil. You're gonna open it and starting from the center and working your way out, you're gonna measure out two times the width of your planner. So mine is four and a quarter inches wide, so I'm going to measure out eight and a half inches. And I'm going to put a little tick mark there so I know where to cut. Next, we're going to cut off the excess. So I'm going to bring my cutter over, and I apologize for all the glare. I'm gonna to try to shield you guys as much as I can. And what you're going to do is, I folded it over itself so I can see the tick mark. And you're gonna line up where you saw that and you're just gonna cut off the excess. And there you go. Okay, step two, open it up once again. And this time you're gonna measure out the height of your planner. What you're gonna do is you're gonna measure starting from the top. Mine is eight and a quarter inches and I'm going to put a tick mark there. Okay, now you're going to get your bone folder or something to help you crease to fold this over. I'm going to start it by flipping it over first so I know where that marker is. And what you're gonna do is fold over the entire bottom section at that marker. So you wanna give it a good couple of folds, so it looks like that. And if you like, you can turn it over and give it a good folding there. Now, at this point, you wanna decide which part of the design you would like to show. Would you like your folder to have this design? Or if you flip it over, would you like it to have this design? Hmm, that's really difficult. I think I'm gonna keep this design. Okay, so we're also gonna go down the center so it can stay closed. And once you decide which way you want the design to face, you're gonna open it once again, leaving, this is gonna become the folder on the outside and you're gonna fold this almost in half. 
So you're gonna go right up to the center margin, leave just maybe about an eighth of an inch, and do another fold right here. And crease that. And then do the same on the opposite side. Just leave about an eighth of an inch and fold that down. And again, if you want a nice sharp crease, you can fold it the opposite way and use your paper creaser and do the same thing on the opposite side. And then put it right back. Okay, so here we have. Now the edges are getting a little frayed because I'm being a little rough with my paper. That's okay. I can always cover that with washi tape. But once you have it facing the right way, you'll see that you have your pocket folder there. You open it up. This is your pocket folder here and one on the outside. And you can bend it a little just so that the paper gets accustomed to folding that way. Now here is where you're gonna take one of two different routes. So if this is going into a traveler's notebook like mine, you're going to keep it like this. If this is supposed to go into a ring bound planner, what you're going to do is once again, take out your cutter. And again, I apologize for the glare. I'll put it off here to the side. And what you would do is you would put your folder in the center. And I'm not going to do this, but you would basically cut it dead center so that you would end up with two individual pieces. Got that? So you would cut it down the center, basically splitting this folder in two halves. And then what you would do is you would take your double-sided tape and you would put it down the margin so that you can seal. See how this opens up? You're gonna seal these two sides downward and then once that's done, you're gonna take your hole puncher for your planner size, or you can use one of these, and you're gonna punch the holes. And what that's gonna do is, like I said, remember, these are gonna be two separate pieces. You're gonna end up with two folders. So it's gonna have the folder on this side, folder on this side, the hole punches are gonna be along this margin. And with another thing you could do is take some washi tape and or some clear packing tape and just tape the pocket. So from this side to this side, just so you don't have this opening here. But because I'm going to use it in a traveler's notebook, for me, it's just fine. The last step is to decide which pen loop you're gonna use. Now, being that this is a pink folder, I decided to go with the pink. And I'm gonna roughly measure how far, there we go. I think I'm gonna go about that height and peel off the backing. And like I said, generally speaking, I would want it to be at a certain height. So I'm gonna use my pencil as a tester I think I want it about that high and I'm going to stick it down. Now these, be very careful that wherever you place it, that's where it's going to stay. If you try to remove this to move it, it's going to rip your folder. Now I can take that out and there it is. So now I have a four pocket folder in this side with a built-in pen loop for my traveler's notebook. And as you can see, it's the perfect size. So let's 
test this out. Now, you know, when you first make it, it's kind of, you know, tries to open up or whatever, but after some time, you'll see that it'll meld really nicely. So you see there, it fits perfectly. And you can just uh, put some books in, close that up. Now here I have my own pen loop. If I happen to stuff, um, you know, my traveler's notebooks. So what will end up happening is that this will expand. So I have, I'll have a pen loop here and I'll have a pen loop here. And then you'll be able to close this up. And there you go. So that's how you make a folder. Oh, there is one more tip that I forgot. <laughs> so if, if you notice, this kind of pushes down on the cord of the traveler's notebook. So another thing I like to do is get your hole puncher and open this folder. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna punch a half moon. So this is a circle. I'm gonna go about half or three quarters of the way. And I'm trying to see this while I'm leaning into camera. And what you want to create is this little divot at the end. Hopefully you guys can see that. There you go. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. And there we go. And what that does is that when you slide it into your traveler's notebook, it actually helps keep the strap in place so that way it doesn't move around so your folder doesn't kind of shift off to one side or shift off to the other so as you can see it's held there nice and secure it now doesn't you know hit too far up on the top or the bottom and it fits perfectly so there you go that's how you make a quick and easy folder with a pen loop using a standard office manila folder so I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any other questions or topic requests, just leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as check out my blog at liliedevet.com for more information. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, bye.